Really? Come on, go! You have the fucking right away! Old ass lady, Jesus Christ, lady, come on! Fuck! Do not yield your right of way! Like, what? Like, why is that such a difficult concept for some people? That's how you're gonna cause an accident. If I had thought she was yielding to me and I win and I get hit, it's my fucking fault. Yeah, I wanna see if I can give this bike a nice little dirty workout and help get these tires scrubbed in a little bit better. Whole lot of bikes. Nice. So yesterday I got the Heidnow K60 Scout tires put on this bike because the stock ones were absolute crap and off-road was terrifying as fuck. I'm liking them so far, they feel sticky. The Bridgestones were okay, I mean they obviously worked. They just didn't give me a whole lot of confidence on grip because the times that they did let go on me, they really just suddenly let go on me. There was pretty much no warning at all. You know, I slid the back tire a couple of times, and on gravel, the front end would get loose pretty easily. And there was just never really a whole lot of warning when it did it. It was just all of a sudden like, oh, oh, Jesus, okay. Excuse me, sir. May I come by? I'm not going to pass you on a fucking blind corner because of that. All right, now for the fun stuff. He's probably having fun. You're on the wrong side of the road, minivan. Doink, 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 doink. Not maintained for winter travel. Yeah, a little bit. Found that out the hard way last time. Okay, these tires are a lot nicer on dirt. <laughs> the tires going around. That's a big boulder. Okay. There's definitely been some rock fall. <sighs> Fucking washboard. Jesus. You gotta stay on your side of the fucking road, people. God damn it. Hi, now I love you guys. <laughs> you transformed a, a pretty okay off-road bike, but it, you know, I had to go super slow when it was really sketchy to this is just fun. Like, I'm not having to even think about whether I'm going to have traction or not. It's just picking my line to make sure I don't drive into a humongous hole. More washboard. God damn it. That is when the nice thing of... Oh, Jesus. When you get off the big roads, there's they're not graded, so you don't have the fucking washboard bullshit, because that's how you get that. So the washboard is caused by the road grader going over bumps, and the springs that keep the grader touching the ground get into this weird harmonic, and so you get these super repetitive grading patterns that eventually turn into your washboard road and it's really annoying and it gets exacerbated by the tires of vehicles going over it because they do the same thing they hit a bump and bounce and hit another bump and bounce and it just gets worse and worse and worse Wee. <laughs> see i would not have tried that with the bridge stones because i feel like my front tire would have just gone into that ditch and stopped in the loose sand. I'm getting pretty close to being down on this side because, yep, there's the forest notifications. I'll eat and uh, then come back over. Here's concrete. Whee. It's like going down a tunnel. It's a tunnel of rocks and trees and a beer bottles. <laughs> there's a beer bottle on the side of the road over there.